Israeli forces kill, withhold body of 17-year-old Palestinian boy. Israeli forces shot and killed a 17-year-old Palestinian boy in East Jerusalem last week. Wadi Abdulaziz Murray Abu Ramers, 17, was shot with live ammunition by Israeli forces around 10 p.m. on 25 January during a confrontation between Palestinian youth and Israeli police in the Ain al area of the Silwan neighborhood in occupied East Jerusalem, according to documentation collected by Defense for Children International, Palestine. Wadi was transferred to Shar Zedek Medical Center in Jerusalem and Israeli forces placed him under arrest and guarded him while he was treated in the intensive care unit. Wadi succumbed to his injuries at the hospital around 11 p.m. on 27 January. Israeli forces are currently withholding his body. Israeli forces shot 17-year-old Wadi with lethal force, detained him with armed guards in the ICU, and are withholding his body after he succumbed to his injuries, said Aid Abu Ektaish, accountability program director at SIP. Israeli forces routinely resort to intentional lethal force in situations not justified under international law and make no effort to impartially investigate or ensure that Israeli soldiers act in accordance with international standards. Wadi sustained at least one gunshot wound near his heart, critically injuring his spleen and liver, according to information collected by Tsip. After Israeli forces shot him, Wadi laid on the ground for about 45 minutes before receiving medical attention. Israeli forces have killed eight Palestinian children so far this year, including seven killed in the occupied West Bank, according to documentation collected by Tsip. Abdullah Merwan Jumay Mauser, 17, and Wasim Amjad Arif Abu Jays, 16, were killed by Israeli forces in the morning of 26 January in Jenin refugee camp in the northern occupied West Bank. Amr Khaled Lutfi Alkma, 14, was shot and killed by Israeli forces on 16 January near the entrance to Dish refugee camp. Israeli forces shot and killed 16-year-old Amer Garzi Mahmoud Zitan in Balatar refugee camp in the early morning of January 5. Israeli forces shot and killed 15-year-old Adam Issam Shaker Ayard on January 3 in Dish refugee camp. On January 1, an Israeli sniper shot 17-year-old Fouad Mahmoud Ahmed Abed in Kafr Dan, west of Jenin, and he was pronounced dead early in the morning on January 2. 10-year-old Naif Khaled Naif Aladat died on 26 January from head injuries sustained in an Israeli airstrike last August in the southern Gaza Strip. Under international law, intentional lethal force is only justified in circumstances where a direct threat to life or of serious injury is present. However, investigations and evidence collected by TSIP regularly suggest that Israeli forces use lethal force against Palestinian children in circumstances that may amount to extrajudicial or willful killings. Israeli authorities' practice of confiscating and withholding Palestinian bodies is a violation of international humanitarian law and international human rights law, which include absolute prohibitions on cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment, as well as stipulate that parties of an armed conflict must bury the deceased in an honorable way. For families, the practice amounts to collective punishment in violation of international humanitarian law. In September 2019, the Israeli Supreme Court approved the practice of confiscating human remains after several legal challenges to the policy. On 27 November 2019, Israeli Defense Minister Naftali Bennett ordered all bodies of Palestinians alleged to have attacked Israeli citizens or soldiers to be withheld and not returned to their families. Israel is the only country in the world with such a policy of confiscating human remains, according to Adela. 53 Palestinian children were killed in 2022, according to documentation collected by TSIP, including 36 Palestinian children shot and killed by Israeli forces or settlers in the occupied West Bank. TSIP documented the killing of 17 Palestinian children between August 5-7 after Israeli forces launched a military offensive in the Gaza Strip.